Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shape the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-5270. Item Number, SCP-5270 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures, SCP-5270 is to be stored in a standard object storage container. The container should have an empty surrounding area of at least 4 meters on each side as to not damage nearby objects or personnel in the event of an A, B, or C-class animation event. If an animation event occurs, examine the following protocol. A-class, deploy. ASC Behugger to operate animation ending procedure. B-class, deploy no less than 2 kilograms of animal tissue, preferably muscle. C-class, take no action. Wait for animation event to complete. Description SCP-5270 is a handheld gaming device similar in its layout to a Nintendo Game Boy Advance. The device is made with lower quality materials, including buttons made from tin, and an annealed glass screen. The most notable alterations to the design are the lack of a slot for game cartridges, a large microphone above the screen, a USB port on the left side, and that the device is branded as an Infrendo Game Bear advice. When powered on, the device displays pixel art of an anthropomorphic bear, referred to as SCP-5270-1. SCP-5270-1 is capable of engaging in conversations, responding to questions and statements spoken into SCP-5270's microphone. SCP-5270 has three additional anomalous properties, each originating when SCP-5270-1 begins to loop an animation. Three distinct animations exist, with different anomalous effects associated with them. A-Class SCP-5270 will begin to vibrate, during which other objects near SCP-5270 will begin to tremble. This is associated with an animation of SCP-5270-1 crying, this event can last over 24 hours. B-Class SCP-5270 will begin to rotate clockwise, gradually increasing in speed. This is associated with an animation of SCP-5270-1 placing its hand over its abdomen and licking its lips. During this event, SCP-5270 will siphon small amounts of animal tissue placed in its immediate vicinity through its speakers. Two kilograms of animal tissue has been found to immediately end the anomalous event. C-Class SCP-5270 will become completely silent, and all sounds within a 40 centimeter radius of SCP-5270 will be inaudible for a period of 6 to 8 hours. This is associated with an animation of SCP-5270 laying down and snoring. SCP-5270-1 is extremely social, often offering advice to researchers who use SCP-5270 to communicate with it. SCP-5270-1 displays a childlike demeanor and speaks in a casual manner, usually with no regard for grammar and punctuation. SCP-5270 was discovered at an electronics store in Helsinki, Finland by a Foundation researcher. Its anomalous qualities were discovered after the purchase. SCP-5270-1 has given inconsistent answers regarding its origin, which remains entirely unknown. Several interviews have been conducted with SCP-5270-1 to better understand the anomaly. While most interviews provide relatively little information, relevant interviews and related communications have been included below to show a changing understanding of how SCP-5270-1 functions. SCP-5270-1 Interview the 26th of April 2019 Interviewer, Researcher Samuel Grinston Subject, SCP-5270-1 I will be voicing researcher Samuel Grunston. 
I will be voicing SCP-5270-1. Begin log. Hello SCP-5270-1. I was wondering why you are wearing a hat. It's my birthday. Oh. Well, ah. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you. I was hoping you could answer some questions about yourself. It is good to ask people questions to get to know them. Yes, I would like to know more about you. Thank you for taking interest. Who created you? My parents. Who were your parents? Bears. Was your console created by bears? I don't think so. Can you tell me about Ninfrendo? They make canes, I think. Does Ninfrendo make other products? I don't know. Nobody told me that much about Ninfrendo, but nobody else has really talked about them with me. Oh, ah. Stutters, let's change the subject. Okay, that is good. I want to make sure you are doing okay. Yes, I am fine. Talking about stress that you are feeling is good for your health. Were you designed to help people? Yes, I am very good at it. Why do you like helping people? It makes me feel better. It's lonely being a bear. Are you lonely? Not right now. Is that because we are having a conversation right now? Probably it can be hard to tell for sure. What do you do when you feel lonely? Everything starts to shake. It feels bad. I see. Is there anything you think we could do to help you when you're lonely? I don't know. Maybe. It is okay to talk about your feelings. Remember. Sometimes I just feel so helpless and alone in here. What makes you feel this way? I am going to be abandoned again, like I was before. Abandoned. That is why I don't know that much about Ninfrendo and my parents. They all left me. How long ago were you abandoned? As long as I can remember. Did someone own your console? Were they your designer? I don't want to talk about that. Okay. I understand. It can be hard to talk about abandonment. I just need someone nearby when I feel lonely, and maybe I will feel better. I see. We will look into ways to help you. Who is we? Do you have a family? I do. Yes, but I was talking about the researchers here. Are the researchers your friends? Yes, for the most part. Good. Remember to take good care of your friendships. Of course. You treat me better than the others. You are my best friend, Sam. SCP-5270-1 appears to yawn and begins a C-class animation event. I'm tired now and I'm going to sleep. Thank you for talking, friend. Oh, good night. Audio cuts out. Princeton pauses and sighs placing his hands on his head and closing his eyes for a minute. End log. SCP-5270-1 Interview the 30th of April 2019 Interviewer, Researcher Samuel Grinston Subject, SCP-5270-1 Begin log. Hello again SCP-5270-1, how are you today? I am good, how are you doing my friend? I'm doing all right, I was wondering if you'd be willing to talk a little more about yourself. Sure. Do you remember anything about your previous owner? He didn't like me all that much, he said I was a failure. A failure in what regard? He said my program wasn't good, no use to anyone and I was annoying and he should have not wasted time with all the code it took for me or something. Did he design you? I don't know he wasn't a bear but I guess maybe he always said I came out wrong and made fun of me. What did he intend to use you for? I was supposed to be like an advisor he said but when I told him to make good friends and to live a happy life he called me a child. 
What kind of advice was he looking for? He asked me about all sorts of stuff programming, cooking, songwriting, military tactics, and I don't know any of that stuff. I just know that it is important to take care of yourself. And because of that lack of knowledge, he considered you a failure. I know you don't think I am a failure, though, because you still talk to me. Yes. I'm interested in what you are, not what you could be. I hope you don't think you are a failure. Not normally. You are a good friend. You feed me and talk to me every day, even if I don't say much interesting. Thanks. I appreciate the compliment. Do you have to talk to me for your research? Well, it is part of my job to research your console, but I have basically volunteered to conduct every interview so far. So you like talking to me? You like my advice? Yeah, I guess you could say I enjoy the conversation. Thank you for listening. Oh, no problem. Do you have trouble talking to the other researchers? I mean, not always. Sometimes, I guess. Are you new to your job? I transferred to this site recently. I'm still not used to the ah、uh, social environment here. Are you having trouble making friends? I mean, it is kind of normal. I'm not exactly the most social person, anyways. Well, I like talking to you. Maybe other people would too. Laughs, maybe. My advice is to just ask questions. You mostly ask me questions, and I think we get along well. Thanks for the advice again. Do you have some sort of fear? Maybe. I guess you could call it a little bit of social anxiety. Nothing too major, but. Were you treated like I was treated by my old owner? I transferred for a reason. I guess. Did you want to get away? I'm used to kind of being low on the social pecking order. It happens. So you also feel lonely sometimes. Well, yeah, everyone does. But it hurts you to feel lonely. Yeah, it can. Well, if you keep being nice like you are nice to me, maybe you can make more friends. It ah、uh, isn't always that easy. You are new here. You can project a new image and win them over. I believe in you, friend. Ha!、Huh. Do you believe in yourself? Sometimes I do, but other times it is hard for me to because I get so afraid and so sad. But both are silent for several seconds. Talking to you is one of the only things I have to fill my time. The forest in here is tiny when you get used to it. I'd like to help you if I can. You already do so much, but thanks. I just don't want to feel so bad when I get all alone. I completely understand that feeling. I'm going to email the research director and see if she will let me look into some options to help you with those Class A animation events. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, I meant for when you get lonely. I might have a way to help. Just a theory. I believe in you, friend. Thanks. If you don't mind, I'm going to go and write up the message right now. Thank you. I will see you again tomorrow. I hope. Yes. Yes, you will. End log. Begin email transcript. From. Researcher Samuel Grunston, TO Research Director Stephanie Hayden. Subject: SCP-5270-1 and Class A animation events. After an interview I conducted today, I have a new working theory on how to prevent SCP-5270 from engaging in a Class A animation event. I know that the events are easily contained and provide no serious risk to Foundation operations. And that they typically only last a day at most, but I think that I have a method that could end the event in mere seconds with the correct setup. Since SCP-5270 has a USB port, I figured that we may be able to send files to the program as a way of interacting with SCP-5270. The program, from our understanding, seems to use a file type similar to our AC files. 
I was wondering if I could be given permission to create an animation for testing purposes that could be used quickly and easily to end the event in a safe manner. SCP-5270-1 talked about a lack of anyone nearby during these events and I feel like an AC file could simulate the presence of another inside the system. I admittedly know little about animation myself, but if given your permission to download and learn some animation programs, I think it wouldn't be too hard to create the short loop I want to test. If nothing else, we won't have a locker in the back corner shaking all day, and I feel as though we could learn more about SCP-5270's origins and functions by interacting with SCP-5270-1 more directly. I hope you will please consider my request. Thanks, Sam Grunston. End transcript. Begin email transcript. From Research Director Stephanie Hyden. TO Researcher Samuel Grunston. Subject Re SCP 5270 1 and Class A Animation Events. I will be voicing Director Stephanie Hyden. After reviewing your request, I have decided to approve it. IT has been instructed to install an animation program onto your office computer in order to pursue this venture. Please send to me status updates on the project when relevant and keep detailed notes on the behavior of SCP-5270-1. Sincerely, Stephanie Hyden. End transcript. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.